When did you pick up a camera for the first time? It was when I, bought, when I was about 18 or so, I think. I grabbed the camera, looked through it, through the square thing, and I thought for the first time I actually see something. I actually thought I'm seeing something. That square thing helped me to, to look. And then I said, well, I'm going to be a photographer now. Fashion photography, when it's really good, that you, that you really, you have to feel or understand what the designer's vision is and what, what, what they want. And, and she has a very, if I get that right, very strong but very simple and direct vision. And I kind of wanted to achieve that in the photographs. There's Willie Magelson, who I absolutely adore, and, uh, and he said, Jürgen, we've, we've, we've got things in common. Smoking, drinking, and women. Photography just gets us out of the house. <laughs> and I thought, that is pretty... pretty nice quote. <laughs> 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 I want to go to interesting places. I want to be with good people. I want to do something with, with the people, do something together, produce something, and it's fun. And, and that's very, very important, not just work, you know, work is sort of, if I, when I work properly, it's pleasure. It's like, uh, you have this excuse of doing, going on this adventure, you would like, why would you do such weird things if you wouldn't have a camera? And do it, and then they, they're doing these amazing things for the camera. It's bizarre. I'm still perplexed about it and intrigued about it and curious about it. You don't think about let's do this photograph because you want to get an advertising campaign out of it, out of it, or some sort of stupid reason, or because you want to get famous or you want to get so much money. You just want to have a. It's very important to have a quality time and have an experience with that person, whether it's painful or beautiful or rich or whatever it might be. It's just great to live. It's just great to be alive. That is bad because it really slopes down. People call me, some people call me like I'm an anti-fashion photographer. That's just bullshit. And, uh, but I think I, I, I celebrate fashion and I find it exciting to, to it gives me the power, the, 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 the money, the access to places, to people where I can have an adventure with, and that is so exciting. And it's amazing what kind of people you meet through this medium I'm doing, you know. Being together, you're not being together with O.J. Simpson in a room, and he tells you, Jürgen, who do you think who's done it? And then and I was like, uh, O.J., I, I don't know, I wasn't there. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> only God knows. And, uh, and I, way, I like the way the body looks. I like muscles, or no muscles, or fat, or... I, I, I'm just, I, just, I just think it's beautiful, it's great, how, how, how one looks normally. I never, never in my whole life would get a tattoo. I don't understand tattoos. Have some tattoo master tattooing something on you. It's me. I'm so pretty. <laughs> in a way, that how it is, you know what I mean? I think you make up your own rules, you know? I think it's so d easy to fall into this trap of, I would even say, religion and political correctness. And you cannot do this, you cannot do that. You know, if you, have, if you make up your moral ground, what's right or wrong, you can live a, a free life.